from Brooke, by the way. Yes, happy Monday, friends. If you did not know, geeks and nerds and Star Wars freaks all over your world this week are going to be losing their minds. I got a full education on how to respond to May the Fourth Be With You, which was a great education for me. May the Force be with us all. You know, like I didn't know that. So now I know, and we can now you know. It's an exciting week in the nerd world. It's a very exciting week for us. And there may be people in your sphere and circle. While you may not be a Star Wars fan, it may be a Star Wars fan. So today we are going to capitalize on that. And we're going to get going on our stuff. All right, let me, I'm one screen today. So please, patience today as I try to navigate having one screen. All right, here we go. It's May it's a whole new month. Can you see it, friends? I can see I'm it. so excited. So here's the thing, too. If you're only seeing the April in our stuff, at the very end, there's a little button on the calendar that says May. If you click it, it goes right over to here until we pop it up in the growth call. Before we get into any of that information about what we're posting on social media and the bonus this week, Tiffany, do you want to get us going with our productivity for the week? Oops, this is supposed to say May 1st. There we go. All right. So let's go over the mofers and then, then let's spin a wheel. So these mofers came from James Shaw um, and his network. The first one is there may be a lot of money hidden in your house. We are skilled at helping homeowners like you find cash that was sitting right under the roof. Contact us today for more information. And you can go online and you can find a picture, a cartoon of people looking under the couch. I have a little image of money under a floorboard. So you make the choice on what you want to do. You can do it as an email. You can do it as a text, whatever you desire. But they have a lot of money hidden in their house that they don't know about. And then yeah, the second, that's awesome. Yeah. The second one is finish this question. If interest rates are between A, B, or C, would you sell this spring? Looking forward to your answer. And you can send that via email. You can send it text. You can send it social media. However, this is going to get people that are thinking of buying or selling real estate in 2023 to respond to you. If you go to the James Shaw Facebook page, there have probably close to, at this point, 300 people that have answered these questions in the affirmative that they are buying or selling real estate in 2023. So, and it's an opportunity that we don't want to miss out on. It is the Pivot Shift group. If you're not a part of that, that's the one that uh, Tiffany's talking about. I'll make sure that we link it later in our KWNE Growth Call Facebook so that way you guys can go find it and see what they're talking about. The also big mofer I'm seeing right now is Name Your Price. Yeah, which we'll give you next week. Yep, so check these out. Again, you pick. Are you going to text it, put it in an email subject line? What are you doing? on Facebook to catch the attention of those who may be in these situations. Um, they're out there. We just got to put it out there so people see it. So we're not secret agents. All right, let's go to the wheel. Can you explain the wheel as I bring it up? So essentially we want to have fun because this, I know, right? Fun. Why do we want to have fun? This um, group? Yeah. So this business can get very boring if we're doing the right activity. Because when you do the right activity, you repeat yourself over and over again. So in this wheel, there are 30 different lead generation opportunities. Go ahead, tap to spin. I would like you to know that this is not my actual algorithm picking this up. I do not live in this age group. So here we go. I am trying to find one for my mother-in-law. Here we go. Uh, that one's kind of boring. No. So go join a join a, a book club. Spin it again. Let's do okay, something. Okay, okay, okay. You so can't do that. If you are a book lover, I'm a book lover. Um, if you are a book lover, go join a book club. Um, here's here's today's, and we could teach this during the two thirty portion of this. Make a social post offering a list of open houses scheduled this weekend. So that is your action item for your daily activity and production. So 
So I will show you guys at the 2.30 on the second half of this, how to make a social post or even how to find it on your website to put that social post out because it's actually a couple clicks, just a couple clicks. So basically what you're doing here is you're gamifying what we do as real estate agents every day. And you're just spinning a wheel and saying, okay, this is what I'm going to do right now. Absolutely. I mean, come on, that's just fun. I want to, uh, yes, I'm in. Okay. And so that's great. our first part. So that's, yeah. let's spin it again after Tiffany explains, but we're going to spin it again. Cause we needed two things to go over today. I was going to go over something different because guess what? KWRI used all of our stuff in their social media playbook. All of a sudden I looked up at all the images where everything we're doing here. So we're doing something right. So if we have time, this is part of the social media playbook. Yep. All right, spin it one more time. Yeah, yeah. And you can take it out if you saw there was a remove button. Yeah. All right, partner with the local business and send a coupon to your sphere of influence. So this is a two for one. Go talk to your vendors. Go talk to your small businesses. Say, hey, I have a database of X. My database is 3,200. Would you like me to send out a notification to my 3,200 and offer a 10% discount to your business? That simple. At no cost? It doesn't cost them anything? And it doesn't cost us anything. No way. I know, right? Who's going to say no to free marketing for their business? Yeah. No, please. So if you want a copy of this, your team leaders and your productivity coaches have this spinning wheel. So go visit them and say, hey, I heard about and get them to give you a copy of the wheel. This is By the I'm way, all about games. This is something that agents can do with their clients. Maybe join an event to spin the wheel with them, a live mm -hmm. Facebook event where you're giving something away or you're giving them some value of material like this on this wheel yeah and i'm very frugal so i like free this is very free very free. very free very free All right. i love it so and then if you don't want to do it again during that you can remove it but if you just spin it again just go on to the next one it's great if you run a team it's great if you're unsure what you should be doing next. These are all the things we're doing in the models and systems. It's mm -hmm. just like Jen said, put making it gamified so it doesn't feel like work. It feels like a game. Yeah, it does. This is awesome. I have, to, I have to keep up with Brooke and her gamifying of life. <laughs> How much fun do we have? Absolutely. How much fun do we have? And this actually leads into the inner circle. So if you played the growth pre with us, you know that race two and three were all about building your vendor sphere a little different. So that way you did have an item of value to speak to your sphere about or something to offer your inner circle people while asking them, hey, do you have an inner circle? Do you want to be a part of the inner circle? So we'll touch on that after today too at the 2.30. So who's ready for the content? You ready for the content? I am. Let's do it. I love that. I love that wheel. Thank you so much for that, Tiffany. So much fun. All right. It's always a calendar view. Whoops, my calendar. So we are keeping on with the fear versus facts. And today's fear versus fact is I can't afford to buy a home because of my credit score, when in fact, poor credit history and no credit history options are available. Gang, how many people do you know who have received a mortgage with weird credit, different credit, challenging credit, maybe it's called, but there's a lot of fear over that versus what's actually true. So who in your world can you reach out to or tag in on this post? Uh, Jen Bobby doesn't know anybody. In her, not, no movement people, none, no, no lenders, right? Everybody has lenders. Talk to them before you tag them in on this. So that way they can answer questions and get into DMs with people and help them understand that it is debt to income. It could be based on income, employment history, other factors. Don't let this fear be something that holds you back. Because we all know that having a home is such an incredible asset when it comes to investing. Okay. This is going to be one of my most favorite posts here to date because this happened this weekend. And I was like, oh, it's just Murphy's Law. All right. 
what's the one thing you know and put this in the chat what's the one thing you know you have in your home but when you need it it is nowhere to be found what is it i can tell you this weekend i needed an elastic band not a hair elastic band but like those rubbery elastic bands i have thousands of them where are they who knows because every junk drawer because every junk drawer you seems to be a cord a for some people here <sighs> <laughs> you hit a chord because you know some of us just experienced this this weekend. Mine was, you know, those tiny little screwdrivers to open like the battery pack. You have like 20 of them in your house because some things come with them. Where are they when you need it? You just hit a chord, Brooke. No, it, no because, and I was <laughs> and we all have a junk drawer. And if you say you don't have a junk drawer, I'm sorry. I don't believe you. I'm coming over. You can't clean out any of the drawers in your home. Everybody has a junk drawer with pads of paper, elastic bands. I just needed one elastic band. You know where I ended up finding them? Happened to go up to the 18-year-old's room today to go drop something off. There was a ball of elastic bands about yay big on a nightstand. I have never wanted to eat something through a window so hard. My rage, I've never, the mom rage that came over me. I was like, what are you doing with this? So in the chat, I saw a tape measure, <laughs> soy sauce and duck sauce. Yep. Twine, scissors, scissors and tape. I have 8,000 things of tape. Where, where is it? Oh, it's a six-year-old's desk. Yeah, not mine. This is so funny. I cannot imagine what our clients and people on our Facebook are going to say. Make sure you put yours. I just, I have a question for Kyle. Like Kyle, you have asparagus on you all the time at your house. Like just randomly, I, I take a piece of elastic off my asparagus. Sounds like two oh, elastics. <laughs> it's in the fridge. Do you, have, do you have asparagus always in your fridge? I'm saying like every time I get a bundle of asparagus, like twice a week, that's four right. elastics a week. Your B12 <laughs> levels are excellent, Kyle. I love it. All Lots right. of green. It's purple, you know? Yeah, yeah. Love it. I didn't even think to look in the, see Murphy's Law. And he, you know what it is too? I added Murphy's Law in there because if you go to replace whatever it is that was missing in your life, the second you walk away and go to put it in the drunk drawer, it appears. It's like that Murphy's Law. <sighs> if you replace it, you will find it. That's the law. I can't, we had fun with that. I cannot wait to see what the fun is about to happen on your page. Okay. This is what I wait for all year. Here we go. May the fourth be with you. Do you remember what to say, Jen? Excitement on my face. <sighs> if somebody says, may the fourth be with you, you say, may the force be with all of us. That is your phrase. That is your dialogue. And while this may not pertain to you, there are tons of people in your world. So in honor of May the 4th, this week is Star Wars themed. So would you rather own a lightsaber or a droid? Now, we don't say robots in the Star Wars universe because those are plebeian. Droids are what you say. So a droid is a robot. So if you had a lightsaber, you could wield the power of the force, become a Jedi or maybe even finally cut through that crusty loaf of bread your knife won't go through. Or with a droid, you would have a loyal companion who could assist you with a wide range of things. So let me know in the comments below. What would you guys rather have? A lightsaber, and it is one word, or would you rather have a droid to help you in all things? Jen, what would you? I'm this sorry, I just, I'm laughing from the chat because it's exactly my response every time. Is it also with you? Um, yeah, that's what I say too. That's an appropriate response. May the force right. be with you and also with you. with you. We lift ourselves yeah. up to the Lord. Like, yeah. <laughs> no, it's just like an automatic response. So I'm glad I'm not the only one. Thank you guys in the chat. Okay, so what was the question? What will, I, I don't, I don't. I don't have a this or that this week. I'm Would you rather have a lightsaber or a, a, a droid that does all kinds of things for you? Because it could cut the bread. Yeah. Yeah. Droid, or it could droid. droid. Or it could make you a lightsaber. Let's do it. We'll do a droid. I say Sarah, droid. Everybody's saying a droid, but that's Steve DeAngelis. That's because you have an android. So it's close, but it's not the same. So calm down. Lightsaber. What color, Jennifer Keenan? What color? Mine would be purple. Yes, that is the way. 
Okay. All right. <laughs> then, poof, you're a lightsaber. <laughs> okay. Then, and then we have some fun. Like, if you don't know who Chewbacca is, that's where that comes from. May the fourth be with you. Okay. Then here's your bonus post. May the force be with us all. Happy Star Wars Day. May the fourth be with you. I am probably overly excited about this day. If you do not follow me on Facebook, the Jeep is ready to go. Uh, it has our baby Yoda wreath on it, Grogu wreath, and it is lit up green. So it is a good month for the control alt Jeep. And tell, tell me, there's something on the fifth now as well, other than Cinco de Mayo, I hear. It's Revenge of the Fifth. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> Nate and I are very excited about this week in the region. So, you know, you know, it is I what it is. Cinco de Mayo. I mean, I'm waiting for tacos and margaritas myself, but. Well, uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited about that as well. Anybody if, with me on Cinco de Mayo? No? I mean, Anybody? I, it's, it's every week in my house is saying go to my at least one of the days that better not be a margarita in that cup. <laughs> all right are we done with that our is, content we're done that's it that's our content for the week i think it's a lot I think it's a ton. And by the way, if you would like some Cinco de Mayo posts, they are in designs ready for you to go. So as soon as you go into designs and you go under holidays, you can find May and there's a ton of posts in there ready for you to go. I gave you guys the good ones that wouldn't be in there. So with that, so we are Jen's picking out our winner. Mm -hmm. Why don't we, anybody have some success stories they want to share on what they've been putting out? We haven't asked for success stories in a while. I'm gonna, I have one success because they're popping up on my screen. I see all my friends that I visited at KW Leading Edge last week. Wave, wave everybody. <laughs> we have so many people coming back to KW there that when they found out about this call last week, they decided to get together as a group, watch this and deploy immediately after this growth call. So they're actually sitting there and putting the growth call in action immediately after this call. So hi. <laughs> I love that. So exciting. All right, Eddie, we need some, we need some, oh, some what? wins, oh. wins from social media that you've been posting. Yes, Amanda. Thank you. I'm sorry. She's agreeing with me with the tacos and margaritas. All right. Oh. Um, any wins in the, in the social media aspect, or I'm going to, I'm going to pick our winner here. Posting reviews has been good. Yup. You got to be here to win. Just reminding you. Do have to. We be had an agent win. who posted um, a stat that said these many closings have happened so far this year. Who do you know? And they got enough referral business from that one that they paid for the entire year of college for one of their children. What? What? Just from posting on social media. Yep, it was like over thirty grand. And Stop divisions. it. Yep. That's amazing. Let me see if she's on one of the agents. No, she's not on today. I got to meet with last week said to me, being on the growth call has shown me that I was wasting way too much time trying to invent content. If I just post it, they answer. Like, why am I sitting here spending hours designing things when that is not my zone of genius? I just come on. If I can make the call, I make it. If not, I post and off I go. And she's like, it's just when I finally let go, it was wonderful how easy this was. Yeah, and just a reminder on that, if you go to our Facebook group, all of our previous content, social media stuff is all on there in the file section. It you is. check out everything. We've been doing this for over two years. So you could go back and check out everything we've been doing over the last couple of years, use the content you want, and just set it, just set it up so you could, what do you call it, like schedule your post ahead of time. Yep. Set it and forget it. And set it and forget up. it. Exactly. It's like a, you have a little rotisserie chicken after that was the Ronco commercial. Set and forget it. It was the rotisserie chicken machine. And then you have a nice juicy chicken at the end. All right. Who's our winner? And what are they winning? First, what are they winning? Oh, <laughs> winner, winner, chicken dinner. All right. Um, the winner today is going to win a ticket to the Jeff Glover event. Somebody help me with the name of it. I don't have it in front of me. Uh, yeah. New. I'm pulling it up right now. 
Wait a minute. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. New market, new plan, 17 ways to win this summer with Jeff Glover at the Weston Waltham Boston in Waltham, Massachusetts from 9 to 1230 on May 16th. It's coming up soon. You get a ticket for free to go. And our winner today is Brenda Davis. Brenda has to be Brenda. On. Brenda is on. I see her. I see her oh, in purple. Waving. Yeah, she's waving. Hi, Brenda. Can you? Hi, guys. Hi, Hi Brenda. Brenda. You look Hi. like her. Oh, hello there, Hi, Jenny. <laughs> she had her butt on the on the video before from her <laughs> office. I was like, "Stop talking on the phone. Get out there." <laughs> Well, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, I believe you're, which market center are you with? Are you at Hartford? Yeah, Keller Williams okay. Legacy Partners. Excellent. We'll make sure we get that information out to you soon. Put it in your calendar now, May 16th. Guys, we're giving another ticket away next week. So you do not, oh, wait, are we here next week? We're not. Oops, never mind. Just kidding. Just kidding. We yeah. are at Mega Leadership Camp next week, so we will yes. be off the grid, guys. So there, there still will be content out there, but we will not be here Monday. We are at Mega Leadership with a bunch of your leadership. So while this call is not happening, the information is still there for you. We will make sure it's there for you on the Facebook page and make sure you watch the emails for it. Congratulations, Brenda. That is so exciting. I'm so excited. All right, we ready to put and I might be able to give you guys some time back today. Are we ready to put the things Tiffany showed us into action today? Because what we did is we spun and it said, make a social post about upcoming open houses. And then the second thing we spun was send a coupon to your sphere from a vendor. Did I get those right, Tiffany? Awesome. So got to show this off again Friday. Happy hour is probably one of my most favorite classes, but one of the ways we can do that is through our KW website. So let me just get my website set up and hold on. I've got to actually stop the recording. Hold on. More. I don't know how people work on one screen. 